Welcome to Inigini's Pantry, home of the three Ds. In today's video, I'll be making one of my family's favorite recipes, and it is an Indian flatbread known as parathas. It's very flaky, buttery, really tasty. And to get started, you need three cups of flour, a cup of water, a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, mix it up, mix it up, right? Make sure the sugar and salt are well incorporated in the flour. And then you break the egg in, you add the egg. It's really so amazing. You would love it. You would always be making it for your family or for yourself. So you add the water bit by bit. You can dump it in if you want to, but it just makes more sense to just add a little by little because you don't want to have too much water or too little, too little water. Of course, you already know if you add, if it's too sticky, you add more flour. If it's too hard, you add more water. Simple. So you mix, 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 and you want that pizza dough consistency, right? So you put that in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, you can make a sauce while it's in there. Of course, you turn your stove on and that's one third cup of oil i just had big chunks of onions i love onions big chunks of onions put all my spices there chicken bouillon rosemary all that good stuff and a teaspoon of flour just to give the sauce that that little thickness all right so i poured the peppers in there the tomatoes in there and of course i already have grilled um pork belly in the in the fridge so i just chopped them Add them in there. Of course, I put my almond milk in there. Have it just really boil down or cook or saute down right there. Make sure that I put, of course, make sure you spice up to your taste. The only thing I'm missing here is my habanero peppers. All right, the dough is ready. It comes out really nice and soft, not sticky, not too sticky, or not sticky at all. If it's sticky, again, add some flour. So it depends on how many people you want and how many how many you want each person to have. My house, it never lasts. So it depends on the size you want. I make big size for the adults, small size for the kids, and it normally gets me 12. And we're nine in the house, so I kind of cut it out into pizza. I, I, I make it fun so it's enough for everybody. I can cut it into like pizza triangles or leave it as wide as it is. It doesn't matter. So you flatten this out all the way out till it's really thin right to almost not till it's transparent but like it's really thin right really really thin right and i already have melted butter and i put i just kind of spread the butter around i gave it some love and then you sprinkle some flour on top and this keeps it really flaky okay so you fold it in. There's so many ways to do this, but this is my easiest way. So you fold it in. So the reason you do that is to lock the butter and the flour in so that each layer has a bit of everything. And you can twirl it around your finger just to give it a nice shape. There's so many ways to do it. And that's how, that's how it rolls, All right? It looks so cute. So again, I just continue doing that for all of them and it made 12. So you see I have some big ones and some little ones. The big ones are for the adults, the little ones are for the kids. And then I put it there in the fridge for 15 minutes, right? So it's good to do this dough like way in advance if you choose to so just leave it in the fridge. And then you bring it out and flatten it out again as, as flat as you did. And then you bring out your griddle. Make sure your griddle is at 350, really hot spread butter on the griddle put the dough on there and of course put more butter on it while it's cooking and you can see it's gonna puff up a little bit and that's what you want to see all right it's cooking so it's puffing up and like melting the butter in there and the butter and the flour communicating in there and voila here you have it it's really thin very flaky really tasty and the way they eat it right you put it in between your hands and you crush it up right right there watch see see the flakes flying everywhere amazing this is how look at that amazing amazing see so when you tear it up look at that Woo! it's just falling off you have layers 
I mean, there's like an extreme way to do it. Some people do like up to two layers, like put it in the fringe, break it out. Here's the sauce. Here's a wonderful um, pork belly sauce that I made. It's really flavorful. I'm just missing my little hot habanero peppers, but it is really tasty. You can see all, you can grab, and you wanna make a sauce that you can grab things. That's what I like. If I'm gonna grab or dip, I want to be able to make a sauce that's chunky. So here you have it, beautiful flaky parathas. You should try it and leave a comment. It's simply tasty and amazing. The sauce was incredible. It's really cool. And here's a picture of everything. It was wonderful. It was really, really nice. Everybody loved it. It's like I said, it's very flaky. Try it out. Let me know in the comment section. Until our next video, we appreciate your support. God bless you. Happy New Year. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.